Hey, hello everyone. In the last part, we had a one night stand with Chaco to gain her lipstick, optional item that has absolutely no use, but is just a secret thing we also collected. And I clicked through that menu too quickly. The charcoal, it's taken from a fireplace, but that's incredibly important. And I'm gonna be using the jellyfish juice that I got from the giant jelly, the last one I'll ever have to do, to go through her fireplace and say goodbye to Chaco. Forever! Love you! Oh, no, wait, no, never mind, never mind. Anyway, once the fireplace goes back up and yeah, you'll need to get another jellyfish juice to come back through there again. She'll light it right back up. Uh, oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> so let's just move on. You, you'll notice that there's a, a lot of instant kill spikes of which I accidentally fell off the edge. <laughs> so let's try that again. And yeah, so. When it comes to these jumps, they're not hard at all. I just simply slipped off the edge. Uh, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Great controller, but unfortunately, the D-pad does not work with this game for whatever reason. So I have to be using the control sticks. So sometimes I may accidentally move when I don't want to. And while I'm shooting or something upwards. So yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, some of these bats, if I didn't show you before, they like to dive bomb on top of you. And I also didn't show you the level three missiles. Shoot three missiles. Um, here's a new kind of enemy. These are some sort of thing. I forgot their name, but when you shoot them, they shoot at you. And that's basically their attack. Um, and they get very silly when you defeat them. And after you drop down here, this is the point of no return until this fan is back on. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, go into here. Oh, wait, wait, actually, you can't go into here. My, my mistake. You have to go to uh, the sh shack first. Excuse me. And kill off these guys. Look out for their blasts of death. Some of them are pointed the other way, though. So that's basically to plan for your return trip. Very clever design, may I add. As well as the forcing you to use your safe... Um, that increases the, the difficulty through not being able to save until you get to like here or something like that. I guess it's not all that important, or I should say all that special compared to other games that do such a thing, but it's a nice retro touch. This game has a lot of touches like that actually, and I'll level up my fireball, I guess. My bubbler could use uh, a maximum charge too, actually. Uh, I'd like to go to... Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> um, if you just tap the button, you can shoot straight forward with the level 3 bubbler. You don't have to hold the button. Uh, and that's a little tip if you just want to shoot forward, I guess. I'm getting a little bit too uh, overcomplicated here. Anyway, open this treasure chest and you got a missile upgrade. This is one of two in the area. The other, I think, is actually in this shack right here, to be honest. I'm, uh, anyway, let's go down here and check this door. It won't open. Hey! You are not Navi! Come on, man. So, hey, over here, you look like you're a nice young man. Could you help me out? I'd really like to get out of here. Sure, why not? And you get the rusty key for this, but I'm not gonna use that just yet. Um, this opens up the door way to that left that was locked, but first, I want to go into this area. This is the execution chamber. This was the one that I was talking about earlier, that you have to be, um, that it's an instant kill place. Be very careful here to shoot. I shot the wrong one, actually. I just realized that. Whoopsie. Wait, wait, wait. I can get away with this. I, can I? No, wait, I can't get away with it. Pardon me for that mishap. Um, so I want to shoot. I do want to shoot that one and jump on top of it. And then kill off this one. Look, these are called presses. They have a lot of HP and they instantly kill you when they stomp on you. So you don't want that to happen. Anyway, that's the second life capsule this area. And that's the last one, may I add. So that should make you quite happy, I'm sure. And I just got one more missile upgrade to get an ow. And this area will be pretty much cleared out 100%. And I can get this missile upgrade coming up soon. Do I want to get it now or come back for it? I think I'll get it now. Okay, now over here, uh, wait, 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 no, I can't get it now, never mind, I have to go back, <laughs> I have to activate those fans first before I can do anything from here, so, we're going back in time, and, yeah, moving through this natural wonderland is going back in time, it's, it's a synonym, I guess, you could say, and, by the way, this is the level 3 fireball, the higher your fireball is in level, 
the more fireball bullets or whatever you want to call them that shoot across the ground, I guess you could just call them fireballs or something, uh, you can shoot at once. Like this one, you can shoot four. The first one will only shoot two. The, the level two will only shoot three. Well, I, I shouldn't say only. They're all pretty useful. Anyway, the rusty key will open up this door. And, uh, hello there. A robot. Oh, poor little robot. Anyway, there's some robots in cases or something it's stuck in the wall. I don't know. Anyway, this fans are off. Melko is off. Sure, I'll set the power to on. What the heck? What could go wrong? <laughs> Silly face. Intruder alert! Commence destruction! Huzzah! Thank you, Balrog. You saved me. <laughs> did you know that the Mamiga I found wasn't Sue? Actually, yes, I did. That's right. She wasn't. The doctor had a huge fit. Smacked misery, or <laughs> misery around pretty hard. Poor girl, don't you think? But after all, we can't defy our master. So, the doctor is your master. Uh, yeah, we found that out the last part. I'm just being overly dramatic for no reason. Anyway, he's gonna try and break me apart. Yeah, I'm ready for you. I'm just gonna do the polar star here, and he all he does is basically fly up and then shoot some things. He drops down, a bunch of things fly from him when he ground pounds or something. I don't know, there's like any energy balls of some sorts, and this boss is extremely easy in case you don't realize. He just flies over you, and eventually he'll start trying to just jump towards you like he did before in the shack, like now, and of course all you have to do is just walk under him anyway. And what are you? Someone who can beat an easy boss. That was ridiculously easy. <laughs> and that poor robot. Oh, he's all squishied. Here, I'll help you out. Oh, sure. There you go. You're welcome. Thank you. So yeah, I have to be strong to pull him out of the ground. I wonder why I'm so strong anyway. So, yeah, he knows how to make explosives, so... Yeah, what we gotta do, actually, is go back and talk to the guy in this house over here. So let's go and clear our way carefully. Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Yeah! Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe for now. Gotta avoid the frogs. By the way, they're a new enemy as well. And yeah, the fan's around now, so I can just jump up there like that. And let's talk to the guy. And wait, wait, wait. Uh, the door must be rusted shut, and now you can talk to him again. Yeah, it's not the key to this room. Oh, okay. I, f I forgot to uh, try the key on this first. My bad, but yeah. So, I think that's all I had to do here. So, let's just go back to... Uh... Yeah! Those guys always frighten me. <laughs> because you have to you have to time your jump with how they shoot. and it li it like It's an acceleration shot. It starts out slow and then goes really fast. Anyway, we go back to the power room, talk to this guy. And so, hmm? The door is rusted, you can't get it open? Yeah, I, I would like to free that human. Yes, I am a good person. All right, you're gonna make me a bomb. Awesome sauce. So, we need the charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Oh, I do need more jellyfish juice. I forgot about that, so I need to get one more of that. Um, I might as well do that right now. So all, all you have to do to go back is just you hold the jump button to get more height, by the way, on these fans. And there you go. I'll save your game here first. And let's go back and get ourselves some jellyfish juice. Woo! Success! Um, when you get back over to Chaco's house here, uh, you don't have to use the jellyfish on jellyfish juice, excuse me, on the fireplace to pass through. This fan is now active and you can just fly on through here. And now I gotta carefully work my way back through Death Valley here. And ooh, oh, okay, I'm safe! That always frightens me so much. And I don't actually recommend you go into the building because the enemies that you killed on the way here will be reset. Anyway, so we're back on here. And let's go save our game. Definitely go save our game. And now we can work our way over to the right past the execution chamber. And then we'll be able to cross those gaps because the fan will be active. So we'll be able to get the last missile upgrade of this area. And that's pretty much it here. So let's just clear our way through with the bubbler for the heck of it. Oh, I forgot to jump because of those dang whatever the heck these things are. 
<laughs> they always frighten me so much, and I got my level 3 bubbler back, yay. Um, I'm just gonna avoid these guys, they just stay still. Oh, I do have to make this jump normally, but this shouldn't be too much of a problem. And, wait, 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 wait. I want to talk to you before I go up here. Alright, I would like a tip, so, uh, I already taught this to the people, there's no need to tell me the tip. <sighs> Weren't you watching the walkthrough? Jeez! So, okay, let's go, and now you gotta use the fan's propulsion to get all the way across to the other side. Here we go. Ooh, I just made it! <sighs> oh, wait, wait, missile upgrade. Missile upgrade! Yes, yes. Wait, wait, I thought... Wait a second. I was supposed to get the missile upgrade over here. My bad. I could have got it over here. I thought I had to traverse the upper area to get up to here. But anyway, you don't have to do that anyway. Anyway, here's the grass tone hut. Hmm. Red flower petals. This is not going to be safe. <laughs> so let's switch to our favorite gun here. Well, at least it's my favorite gun right now because it's got unlimited ammo and you don't have to worry about things. This is a missile upgrade. And... This is known as a rabble. It's got a charge attack, and that's pretty much the only way it can damage you, and that's pretty much its pattern. It jumps twice towards you, and then does a charge attack. That's an extremely easy boss to beat, and yeah, it's another one of those enraged mimigmas. Anyway, let's go through here, and go down. Whoa, whoa, whoa I, I shouldn't have jumped down blindly, and I forgot to jump again Arr, with these things. Whenever you shoot at them, and it hits, they shoot an energy blast, whatever the heck kind of energy blast it is. Okay, save. <sighs> save. Save. Please save. Thank you. <laughs> so now we got everything in Grass Town, I think. So now we can go over and up through. Ooh, no, 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 no. <gasps> that was almost another death, but I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyway because I saved. But still. <laughs> Yeah, we made it! We're safe! And it's locked, the word gum is written. Uh oh, I forgot to get the gum key. No, I have to go back. And talk over here, yeah, so I'm collecting materials. Yeah, I said gum base. Give me the freaking gum key! Yes! Now go back to the place that I messed up on. <laughs> Enough talking, man. Thank you. All right, we're back up over here. Always remember to get the gum key first before you come up here. That was my bad. And let's go into here. This is a place called Gum. Mmm, tasty. Perhaps bubblicious, I'm not sure. But I got the gum base. Nah, they're talking about explosive gum. And, uh, hey, Misery, how's it going? Yeah, we do. I'm... Yeah, I do, but I'm not happy to remember you. And, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm a soldier. Pe people keep telling me I'm a soldier, so I must be a soldier of some sort. So... Balrog! Huzzah! And, yeah, I am pretty powerful, I have to say. Well, compared to other critters around this area. Especially King, may I add. And what? Soldiers are his duty? So he's... Holy poopers! And this is a boss known as Ballfrog. You can only hit him when his mouth is open, and his mouth only opens up when you go on the other side of him. And whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And here we go. And when his mouth is open, he does start to shoot things out of his mouth. So as long as you keep up the pressure in his mouth, like keep shooting at his mouth, uh, you won't be able to block your shots for long. You'll just be able to power through and hit him. And those tiny frogs. They don't do very much damage, and uh, why did I land on that one? I don't know. <laughs> they only do one damage. I don't know their HP. I think it's like one. Uh, I might have to like do a little test run of those little frogs to get their uh, HP. Anyway, just kind of keep... Because I'm doing a lot of damage, in case you don't realize, to those tiny frogs at a time, so it's hard to get a gauge of how, mu of how their HP is. And look at that, their HP is at, at the most, too, as you can see. Um... When he does that slam attack, a bunch of frogs will fly down from the ceiling, and you gotta kill them off, otherwise they'll get in your way. And maybe I should let my weapon go down to level 1 just to see what their HP is, those tiny frogs. I know what the big frogs' HP are, as you've no doubt seen in the uh, little message box that popped up when I introduced the frogs earlier. Uh, and that's really all there is to Ball Frog here. His pattern is pretty simple, it's pretty easy, you shouldn't have much trouble with it, and... 
and there we go. Oh, poopers. That was just a random mean hit. Oh, wait. You know what I should do? Missiles! Missiles! Yeah! Missile finishing. If you didn't notice, Mist Missiles are extremely powerful. They're great for bosses. And that's the end of Balfrog. Well, Balrog, but it's, you know, it's transform state, which is Balrog. Oh, pff, Balfrog. Anyway, let's go save and end off this part. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. Yay!